Everybody, JD here, and let's go to the land of the giant steelhead, shall we? Prepare to have your mind blown. These are just 10 crazy big steelhead. 10 specimens that just really knock my socks off, and uh, they're just huge. And by the way, if you want to see my list of 10 giant king salmon, take a look up here, down here in the description below, and I'll put a link in there because uh, that was pretty awesome too. So without further ado, let's check out 10 big old giant steelhead, plus a couple bonuses at the end. All right, mind blower number one is this fish Nick English caught on the Kispiox River in British Columbia on a fly. And this is just a cool picture. I love the crazy face, the beard, the giant fish. I mean, this just is an epic shot right here. And uh, apparently this one weighed 37 pounds, got released. And uh, yeah, just just soak in the uh, glory of that one, man. That's a, that's a fish. So our next one was caught by Peter Harrison of Port Hadlock, Washington, and this baby weighed 29.5 pounds and it was 44 inches long. Now he caught it on Washington's Ho River with a spay rod and uh, it, it created quite a fuss in angling circles for quite a few reasons. First off, it's huge, right? I mean, it's just a massive fish. And uh, it weighed 29 and a half pounds almost 24 hours after he caught it brings me to the other reason why it made such a big fuss and that's because the fish is dead. Now in the interest of full disclosure it was legal at the time to kill a wild steelhead in that river so he did nothing wrong from a law standpoint. Now from a crimes against wild steelhead standpoint yeah that's I mean again it's within his rights to kill the thing but uh, I, my personal opinion is wild steelhead are such a rare and uh, sort of a gift from the gods these days that uh, I feel like that fish should have gone back, but that was not my call. I didn't catch it, so he did, and uh, I guess he tried to get uh, a world record for the fly uh, recognition on that, and I don't think that ever actually happened. So speaking of world records on the fly, this next one is just a great story. So we have Andrew Faircloth from the United Kingdom who came out to BC several years ago to uh, catch a steelhead on the fly. His first one, in fact, was a nice 12 pounder. Fished, Faircloth could have never known what was about to happen <laughs> a few minutes later. I mean, this is crazy. So he threw out a fly that was uh, Gill's own pattern called a Gill's Creamsicle. And he threw it out there and this super aggressive fish just smacks a fly the second it touched the water. And the spot was like five feet deep and the fish just came up straight up and nailed it almost like a dry fly on the surface. Well, Faircloth was fishing with a eight weight Thompson Thomas and this thing was just bent to the cork and, and just running like crazy. And it was like a bad movie unfolding in front of these guys. Gil, my buddy, McKean. The guide, he's watching helplessly as this, this locomotive is heading for a log jam at the end of the run. And at, as the last ditch effort to avoid just this heartbreak of losing this massive fish, he raced down the bank and got ahead of the fish. And he waited out in the middle of the run in hopes to get the fish to turn back around and, and it actually worked. And so that uh, kind of turned the steelhead around. He went back into the pool and this thing goes on for 40 minutes and they finally are getting it close and towards the end of the fight the real seat wiggled loose and so you can imagine the chaos you know you got this giant fish and everybody's nervous barbless hook and and boom, the real seat pops off on the fly rod and so anyway they get that back uh contained and they get the fish up on the beach and um they they measure it and it was 41 and a half inches by 25 and a half inches around it was it was ginormous and if you use the uh, those those formulas there's a couple different ones the the sturdy's weight formula which is length times girth squared times here we go 0 0.00133 and I have no idea how they come up with that but this is developed for Dean River steelhead you get 38 and a half or almost 30 uh, no excuse me 35.8 pounds on that. Now, if you use the Kispiox Skeena formula, which is length times girth squared divided by 775, the and this one was do, designed to estimate the weight of extra girthy fish like uh, that live in those drainages, you're going to get 34.8 pounds. I don't really care what it weighs. This is just like a miracle once of 10,000 lifetimes fish. So, who cares exactly what it weighed? But it was a beast. And actually, had they been able to weigh it, and the fish was of course released, you can't keep wild fish there, luckily. Uh, this 
very well would have been the world record fly caught steelhead. So, <laughs> while this fish is a miracle in itself, it almost didn't happen <laughs> because as uh, uh, Andrew insisted on holding the fish up for the photo, but it was just a giant fish. I mean, and this guy is the first, he's the second steelhead he's ever caught, so he doesn't really have the, um, the, the grip, you know, the right way to hold a steelhead and it starts flopping and, and granted anybody holding the steel hub that big is gonna have a little tough time but this thing flops back in the water <laughs> fly was still in his mouth but the line was all twisted around the rod and reel and bzz, takes off again and goes for deeper water and then uh, Gil makes this heroic dive and gets a gets a grip on the rod before the line came tight against the tangles and he got him back in and, they, and Gil held them up for this photo to make sure they got the photo and they took a couple pictures, which just happened to be the last three shots of uh, on his roll of film. So quite a, quite a wild tale, but what a fish. So speaking of what a fish, how about the all tackle world record steelhead? Your mind, because it came from saltwater and this eight year old kid is trolling for Kings in 1970, about 50 miles north of Ketchikan and he catches this, what would be a uh, you know, 40 something pound king is a nice king, let alone a steelhead, right? They don't know it's a steelhead, presumably, because it's just so chrome, you know, caught out in the sea. And they take it in and get it weighed, and somebody goes, hey, wait a second, that is not a king, that's a steelhead, and thus, the all tackle world record steelhead was caught. So. Pretty amazing. I assume it was on a you know a herring and a flasher type of deal, but um, uh, <laughs> you know it's that fish that you dream of catching on a, a dry fly in some beautiful river, and, and yet it's caught on trolling gear out in the ocean. But uh, anyway, really pretty impressive fish. Too bad there's not a you know better photo of it. So going back to my buddy Gil McKean, here's a big, just barrel-chested beach ball looking steelhead that has to be 30 plus pounds that he caught on the Kitimat River while well, his customer there holding the fish with him caught on a yarn ball under a float on spinning gear and of course that fish was released after a quick photo but man that that's a big fish I mean just again mind blowers these are all mind blowers so this one's a, a fish from the Quinault up on the uh, Olympic Peninsula and it's a massively big dark buck. It was caught and released uh, by a guy named Jeff Wissing, who's on the left, and he was with a guy named George Wright, who's there on the on the uh, George Rose on the right there. And this was in 2004. And the fish was 46 inches long with a 24 inch girth and weighed approximately 35 pounds. I mean, <laughs> come on, man, we're talking steelhead here. Just a beast. Speaking of big beast steelhead, how about this black and white photo from back in the day, October 5th, 1954 from the Kispiox, and Chuck Etwart caught this thing and it was 36 pounds. <laughs> I just, ah, uh, he just, yeah, uh, makes, me, makes me go crazy thinking about these things. Okay, next up on the list is the Idaho State record. Now, Keith Powell caught this fish on November 11th, 1973, between Lewiston and Orofino on the Clearwater. I'm not sure what he got it on, but it was 30 pounds and was 44 inches long. And, uh, gosh, I, I guess it's still the uh, Idaho State record to this day. Now, in the photo, Keith's son, Alan, is on the left, and taxidermy, uh, taxidermist Gary Peck is on the right, the guy who kind of worked on the mount a little bit and uh, touched it up after the original one. So... Um, you know, 30 pound steelhead, man, that's, talk to me. <laughs> so this next one is not quite 30, but 27 pounds. And this is a buddy of mine on the Olympic Peninsula. One of his clients caught this thing on the fly. And I can't remember what the fly pattern was, but uh, the water was low and, and gosh, what a, what an amazing fish. Now, here's another old classic, a 33 pounder from the Kispiox up in BC, Carl Massu. And uh, he caught this one on October 8th, 1962. And it's interesting, he listened to his uh, favorite baseball team, the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, go Giants. 
defeat the New York Yankees in Game 4 of the World Series on the radio, and then went out and caught this 33-pound, at the time, world record fly-caught steelhead. Uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good day, I'd say. Listen to your, your ball t- club win the uh, game of the World Series and then go catch a giant steelhead. And this photo, by the way, is from Steelhead Fly Fishing and Flies, a just one of the great all-time reads of steelhead fishing and, by Trey Combs. It's a great book. Check it out. Got some just cool classic photos, too, like this one of just just really cool fish and, and, and some of the who's who of the fly fishing game and, and steelhead. Okay, this next one, I can't even remember where I got this. I think this guy sent it to me and just said, hey, you know, don't don't tell anybody where I was or I'm not going to tell you, so you can't tell anybody where I was. And, and I want to say he hinted at it being in Washington State, but I, I can't say that for sure. But what I do know is it measured 44 inches long and it was 24 inches around and using the steelhead weight formula came out at 32 freaking pounds. Wow. <laughs> just... Uh, again, mind blown. Okay, this this guy who's looking pretty excited, Clay Carter, and it's not a great photo, obviously, but uh, you know, give the guy credit for back in 1985. It was probably on a Polaroid or something, but uh, it was caught on October 1st at Lower Patch on the Kispiox. There's that name again. That Kispiox has been famous for giant steelhead for a long time. He quickly measured this fish and let it go, which is awesome that he just let it go without uh, having to bonk it. And using length and girth measurements, this fish was estimated to weigh, oh, just a mere 37 pounds. <laughs> Almost 40 pounds steel. It's hard to tell in that photo, but uh, uh, that's, a, that's a big fish. And uh, if you want to see a replica of that thing, it's on display in the Pioneer Saloon dining room in Ketchum. Um, and then there's a photo of the memorable moment that hangs just outside the grill, too. So uh, it's cool that Clay is gone, but his uh, fish and his memory uh, and uh, lives on thanks to the friends of the Pioneer Saloon. So anyway, those uh, it's hard to hard to top those steelhead. And um, again, this is not a complete list of all the giant steelhead have been caught with uh, people releasing fish. Uh, there's a lot of them that are probably bigger than some of these that we just don't have photos of. Right? I, I don't have photos of and. So anyway, this just it's not a uh, definitive list. It's just a list of giant steelhead that knocked my socks off. That's about it. So and then people often ask me, what's the biggest steelhead I've got? Well, nothing close to any of these is, is the answer. I have caught a couple really, I mean, just mind blowing for my sake steelhead. They're not in the class of these previous ones, but I'll show you real quick here. Uh, this first one is a estimated 20 pounder and hangs on my wall well it's it's fiberglass likeness hangs on my wall i always said if i get a 20 pound steelhead i'm gonna get a fiberglass replica of it so this fish i caught a bobber i caught on a bobber and eggs in bc and um took a quick picture some measurements let him go and this big boy was able to go out and fertilize some big fat ladies before his time was up and then this next one's my biggest one to date and again, didn't weigh it. I just was concerned about getting it unhooked, get a quick photo, and let him go do his thing. But this one's estimated low to mid twenties. I don't know. I don't. I don't even remember if we got um, measurements on it. But uh, my buddy who sees a lot more big twenties than I do uh, said, "Yeah, low to mid, low to mid twenties." And I'll I'll take anything. <laughs> Anytime I catch a steal, I'll take it. But. Uh, uh, so you can call that one what you will. It was a big fish. He fought um, kind of salmony, really. He was bulldoggy. I caught him on a uh, black plastic worm, a Mad River uh, steelhead worm under a float, and uh, he he fought strong, but he wasn't like crazy. Not cartwheeling. I guess maybe when you get that big, it's hard to jump all over the place. But anyway, uh, pretty awesome fish, and uh, I'll never forget either one of those. Well, that concludes my list of top 10 mind-blowing steelhead and if you want to check out my uh, sort of similar list on giant king salmon check out the description below and i'll put a little link down there anyway thanks for tuning in if you like it uh, hit subscribe and we'll catch you next time